Yo, yo, and hello, my name is Lydia, and on today's episode of my 25 pound yo-yo, we will be talking about body fat, and in particular, trying to assess my body fat. We will be looking at weights and scales and measures and pinches and inches and tape measures and all of that today. So in case you are sensitive to those sort of things, maybe this is a video that you would like to skip. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I would like to get in touch with the roots of this channel, which was mainly about diet and weight loss. I've always been fascinated by measurements such as body fat, but I have never been really good at assessing my own. I find that I can try different methods and come up with different results, and I thought that I would do a little video about my own experimentation that happened this past week when I was trying to assess my own body fat. So why don't we watch this next clip, then come back and discuss. So last week I stepped on the scale and it told me that I weigh 128.1 pounds and I'm 31.8% fat. But isn't that borderline obese? My BMI is 22 and I can see my abs. Does that make sense? Let's see. So the first thing I did was grab my tape measure and take three measurements. My neck is 13.5 inches. My waist is 28 inches and my hips are 37 inches. I then put these numbers in my body fat calculator along with my age, weight, and gender, and it provides me with an estimate of 24.4% body fat. But we can see that the BMI method would have put me at 30.9%. So then I did a visual comparison. When I look at the first image, I think I fall right between the 21 to 23 and the 24 to 26. So I guess I'm about 24. When I look at the next set of pics, I think I'm still right. I think I look most like the 25%, but she's not in a bikini, so it's hard to say for sure. Now for another comparison, and we see the same girl from the 21 to 23%, and that's too lean. I think I'm closer to the 24 to 26% picture, although I do have some of that stuff in the 27 to 29% pick, although I think mine is more loose skin from my two babies than actual fat. And one last comparison. Now these aren't full body picks, so I can't see what their legs look like, but I think I'm about 1 to 2% bigger than these women. So. After doing the Navy test and doing a few photo compares, I thought that my body was about 25% body fat. But then, something happened. I was watching Greg Doucette and he was doing a body fat episode. And one of the people that he was assessing was a female about the same height as me. And she weighed only 108 pounds. Now, I think this woman is beautiful with a lovely body. I am not going to critique her in any way, but I will be using Greg's assessment of her as a comparison to myself. So let's stop here for a moment and hear what Greg had to say. Up next, a diamond in the rough, Rachel Schmidt. This girl's only been training for one year and she's 22 years of age. This girl is five foot three and one half inches tall. Don't want to forget about that half inch when you're under five foot four and only 108 pounds, but look at this physique. Back double bicep posed all wrong, squunched all back together. However, you can clearly see this girl is very, very lean. When you can see that amount of back definition, even when posing improperly, that means very lean. She guessed 22% body fat. Let's see how close to that she is. And immediately you notice the girl's got some back, some glutes, some booty. And we're getting almost a little bit more than we bargained for. Hopefully YouTube doesn't bleep this out. She's got one foot back. However, it's not really back. It's more so to the side. When you're trying to show off your hamstring and calves, your foot should be placed behind your body. Look at her right foot and her left. Notice the toe is placed in front of where her heel is. This should be at least one foot back. That allows you to properly engage your hamstrings. It does allow her to properly flex her calves, but it's preventing her from showing off her hamstring to her utmost capability. And from the front, a twisting front double bicep pose. Very aesthetic looking pose. However, she just needs more muscle, but give her time. She's only been training for one year natural. You can't expect her to have bulging biceps with only one year of training as a 22 year old natural female. I really like this pose. It's properly showing off her quads. You can see some lines in the legs. 
looking really good, does have in fact very good quadricep development. And the small waist clearly has abs and biceps, but rather small, just needs more time to pack on more muscle mass. And standing relaxed from the rear, all I can see is in fact her rear. Very well developed glutes. She's not even arching. And standing relaxed from the front, you can see, girl's very lean, has great physique, looks like a future bikini competitor to me. And overall body fat percentage, I do believe she's in the 21 to 22% range. I think she's accurately assessed her body fat. And so you don't need to be this lean to be healthy, but she certainly does look very athletic. Simply needs more muscle with more years of training. Going to do excellent as a bikini competitor in the future. So I looked at her and thought, wow, she's 20 pounds less than me, but only 3% difference in body fat? That doesn't seem right. I thought it was difficult for women to gain muscle. And since I don't look very muscular, I don't understand how I could have so much more. Of the 20 pound difference between us, where is it? Based on the body fat calipers test and without actually doing it, I know the rough areas where they pinch. And on me, my biggest pinches are the back of the tricep and the legs. I think I was told that it was common that the tricep fat indicates leg fat somewhere, but that could just be an old gym tail. Anyways, I believe that I probably have five more pounds of weight in my upper body than this woman, and about 15 pounds more in my lower half. I just can't tell if it's fat or lean body mass. And I say this with all earnesty, I can't assess body fat in my legs. I am blessed with minimal cellulite. But that doesn't mean I don't have fat. I just can't tell how much. I can pinch an inch on my thighs, but I don't know how much that translates to. If all 20 pounds are fat, that would make me 34% fat. But obviously that's not true. Is it 50-50? 10 pounds fat and 10 pounds lean mass? That would make me 27% body fat. In order for the difference to get me to 25% fat, that would mean the difference between us is me having eight more pounds of fat and 12 more pounds of lean body mass. Is that possible? A 12 pound difference in lean body mass between two women of the same height where neither is extremely muscular? Maybe I carry more fat in my legs than I know and am fatter than I thought. So what am I gonna do now? Am I gonna try to lose 20 pounds of fat? No. I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. I'm going to continue to try to stay within my calorie allotment of like 1800 to 2000 calories a day. I'm going to continue to walk every single day and make sure that I have extra activities uh, three times a week, like cycling or dancing or resistance training. And that keeps my life balanced and overall healthy. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm vain as heck and I still want to look good and I still want to maintain a healthy weight. But for me, maintaining the healthy lifestyle will dictate whatever healthy weight I fall into. So whether I am 24% body fat or 34% body fat, what I'm doing right now doesn't change. There is no crash diet needed if I am 34% and there is no cheat meal needed if I am 24%. All that is needed, no matter what, is consistency in the lifestyle. That is all. So yeah, I'm probably about three pounds heavier than what I would consider to be ideal for me, but how am I gonna get there? I'm not actually trying. I'm just trying to maintain what I normally do. And when I do what I normally do, my body will settle in at that weight. I know exactly how I gained weight before. I know exactly what happened. I got busy with work, I stopped walking every day, and I started snacking candy while I was working. That is exactly how I gained the weight. There's no diet needed to come back down. You just stop doing the bad habits that got you there in the first place. So what do I think my body fat is? I don't know. I think it's somewhere in the mid to high 20s. That's probably where I am. But does it really, really matter to me? No. When will it matter? If I'm told by a medical professional that I need to look at something or work on something, then I will take them seriously because they know better than me. But for the time being, as long as I'm eating well, I'm active, and I feel good, I think I'm doing a good job. But alas, this is my 25 pound yo-yo and not what it's like being obese with a BMI of 22. So until next time, yo-yo and let's go.